Hi guys, I'm Arjun, and today I'm going to talk about this cool magnetic levitation device which I made, and which you guys can make at home too. This video series is going to be broken down into two parts, one where I tell you how it works, and the other one where I show you how to make it. And this one is going to be on how it works, and so let's get into the video. As you can see here, this top can levitate, and it's really cool. But, at the heart of it, one question still remains. How does it work? So, let's start by taking two magnets. So, here I have two magnets. And they have their north and south poles. Here, this magnet has its north pole here. And this magnet has its south pole. And this has its south pole. And this has, I mean, this has its north pole. And this has its south pole. So, Let's explore. As you can see, when I bring a north and a north together, they're repelling. They don't want to attract. When I bring a south and a south together, the same thing happens, and they don't want to attract. But when I bring a south and a north together, it attracts. And the attraction is quite strong, enough for this magnet to lift up this one. And if I bring a north and a south together, they're also lifted up. So, make a guess. What type of magnetic concepts are we using for this levitation device? I'll give you a few seconds. Well, if you guess magnetic repulsion, it's right. Because the magnetic repulsion of magnets has the tendency and has enough force to lift these two magnets up. Lift this magnet up. And if I had magnetic attraction, then it's just going to stick to the base and it won't work. So, let's do a few things with magnetic repulsion. Here, I have two ring magnets which are strongly repelling each other. And here I have a paper. So, let's see what happens when I put this on top. And, sorry. Yes. So it causes this type of a 50% levitation. This isn't really the levitation we saw with my top here, but it does kind of levitate, and it is interesting in its own way. But we want levitation which works without the paintbrush, not with the paintbrush. And that's why we're going to talk about gyroscopic precision next. So as you can see, Two magnets aren't stable enough to levitate without the force of something holding it up. For example, if I try to keep these two magnets repelling each other, they're always going to flip over and attract. Let's try it again. And it's still flipping over and attracting. So, as you can see, you can't make it levitate in that way without something holding it up for like a big push. But, let's take this. Here I have a top. When I put it down normally, it just falls off to the side. But when I spin it, let's try it again. When I spin it, it stays upright. And so this is a pretty interesting phenomenon because it can actually be used to get this top to levitate. So here we can see that the top always has the tendency to flip over because it doesn't want to stay upright. But we can see in the top that it's staying upright when we spin it. So if I spin this magnet and let it stay in a repelling state above this one, it can levitate possibly. And that's what's happening here. There's actually a base over here, which is a strong and big magnet. And I also have a top. The top is actually a magnet. This silver um, metal part is a magnet. And so these two magnets are repelling each other. And they want to flip over. But because I'm spinning the top and I'm, letting, and I'm lifting the sheet up, that's how it's levitating. Because the spinning of the top allows it to not flip over and attract and just stay hovering in midair. But there's actually a few factors that you need to consider. The top can fly off if it's too light and other factors like that. And as I said, 
this is go this video series is going to be broken down to two parts and that's what I'm going to tell you how to make this top in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.